now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Holcombs, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women and protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available on e-readers everywhere. God is not a man. And when I'm talking about God in this video, I am not talking about the living God who created the universe, the God who is part of the Godhead of God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about that God. I am talking about the God of this earth that the Afro-American Negro deifies, the Afro-American Negro female deifies, and the white beta male deifies and foreign non-black men deify and who is this god this god is no other than the white american female when it comes down to all of the people in these groups there is one being they deify above all others there is one being that they elevate above themselves above all others and there is one being that they see as a god above all others. And that, again, is the American white female. All of these groups pretty much deify this white female, and they pretty much worship at, at her feet. Because when you look at the social pecking order of America, you will see in the beginning the Afro-American Negro worshiping the black woman and saying that she is God, and then you will see the Afro-American Negro woman deifying the white man and saying he is God. Then you will see the non-black men deifying this white man and seeing him as a leader and authority figure. But when you look all the way up at the top of the sky into the heavens of America, you will see who they all deify. And that is the white woman. In their eyes, this white woman is God. And she is the supreme being, she is the supreme creator of their universe, and she is the one who they pretty much make the world revolve around. This is their god, because this is the one that almost everyone in these groups pretty much submits to, pretty much defers to, and pretty much sees as the all-powerful in their world. Because if you look at America these days, it's a gynocentric society. And what gynocentric means is that it is a world made to benefit women. And the women who benefit the most in American society are white women. They are the ones who have been elevated to the most privileged position in society. They are the ones who have the, the most economic power and the most political power. And they were given that by white men. The reason why white men gave them that power, again, was because they pretty much are simps, and the other reason is because they believe that she, as the first teacher of culture, would maintain some sort of moral position in maintaining and sustaining the race. Unfortunately, over the last 50 years, since she decided to go in with the, even beyond that, beyond 50 years, we're going to go back all the way about 100 years, since he decided to embrace the beliefs of white suffragists and white feminists, her culture has become dysfunctional. And all these men who have pretty much been deifying her and worshipping her have pretty much been out here thinking that she is a god looking to serve them, when in actuality she is a god looking to serve herself. And most of these guys in all of these groups are completely clueless to the nature of their god. Instead, they just sit there deifying this white woman, putting her above all else, putting her on the ultimate pedestal of pedestals, thinking that she is going to act in their best interest, when in actuality, she is only acting in her own self-interest. But you can't tell that to many of these groups, like the Afro-American Negro, the Afro-American Negro female, the beta white male, and non-black men who worship her, they think that she is the greatest thing since sliced bread because whenever this white female enters a room, you will see all of them submitting and deferring to her. You will see all of them worshipping at her feet. You will see all of them looking to praise her. 
looking to honor her, looking to fight for her. And in the case of this Afro-American Negro woman, Asian women, and many other women, you will see them trying to emulate her and copy her beauty by dyeing their hair blonde and bleaching their skin because they want to be just like this white woman. Because we all, most people will go at the social pecking order and say, oh, it stops at the black woman is God, which we know is the lowest totem line at the totem pole. And only the Negro pretty much worships this, this Negro female as God. But we know that if he had a choice between that God and the white God, we know who he's going to serve, especially these pro-black, back-to-Africa, red, black, and green Negroes, and these Hotep Negroes. If they were given a choice between the black female God and the white female God, they're going to go with the white God. And the same thing goes with these beta white males. If they have a choice between exploring their dating options with, their, with these Negro women and this white God, white goddess, they're going to go with the white goddess. And that's why I say that this is this is the god above all gods, the queen of queens. And the reason why she is the queen of queens, again, is because all these groups deify this white woman above all others. If, they, if all these men and all these women could get a shot at the attention of this white female, they will sacrifice all of their intangibles of manhood and womanhood to please her. And the reason why they will do that, again, is because... They see her as the ultimate beauty, the one with the ultimate and the most privileged position in society because the beta white males have pretty much elevated her to the highest position in society. When out of all the people in America, the white woman has the highest position in society. She was given that position in society by those beta white males all the way back during the suffrage movement. And even before then, it was hundreds of years ago, they gave her the most privileged position in the world. And in order to keep her happy during periods like the feminist movement, they wanted to get, they gave her even more. So this female, again, is the god above all gods. But most of these people will never say that at all. They won't say that this is the person that they're worshiping above all others. Because that's who they truly all are worshiping right now as god. And when you look up at the social pecking order and you look past where the Afro-American Negro is kneeling, who the Afro-American Negro is kneeling to, and then look up further up at who the black wo Negro woman is worshipping, looking up to that white man, and then look up even further at who the white man is worshipping, you then get to the top of the pecking order and you see who the true God is in American society. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.